The following video and continued growth of this channel are made possible by your support over on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Sign up today at any level you choose and help bring these brand new projects to life. Or if you're looking for a brand new t-shirt, maybe stop by prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment. I got you covered. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. You might be wondering why we are at a main menu rather than diving into, you know, gameplay firsthand. First of all, this, this main menu is awesome. This is Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and we are going to check out Create a Fighter. So here's the plan. Oh my goodness gracious, what a way to start off. Right, she looks good right there. Signed, sealed, delivered. That's my Created Fighter. How you doing? <laughs> Dan Dans, Create a Fighter was only featured in Mortal Kombat Armageddon from 2006. This has never been done before or since, and I figured it could be fun to load it up, create our own fighter, and then throw him into battle, try and get through an entire arcade ladder with him. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take to create this fighter, uh, so maybe we will split it into two parts, creation and then fighting. We will see. Yo, we can write our own shit? All right, never mind. hold on. We're gonna start with the appearance. Oh my good! What a fucking great game, man. <laughs> we can do a male fighter, uh, or we can do a. F I think we should do a. F Wait, I want. Oh, there we go. That, man, that took a long time to to update. Uh, presets. I guess you can do. Oh, that's the standard Tarkatan look. Okay. That's the only that's the only preset they have? Man, I got a lot of coins, huh? I got almost 90,000 coins in, on this save. Size, we got small, ooh, a little bit of jiggle action going on there. Man, games used to be different, huh? Small, medium, or large. This, we're getting into Resident Evil 8 territory right here. Lady Dimitres, Lady Dimitres, Lady D. I'm thinking medium is probably a good place to be. Skin color, goodness gracious. You can put fucking She-Hulk together in here if you want. You can put fucking, uh... Who's that, who's that chick from the Avengers? I don't know. I don't know anything about Marvel. <laughs> I think we're gonna do a female fighter. Now, fighting style... Now, is this just gonna be a st Oh, we get to name the stance. How does the AI enter... Oh, I get... Is this the stance? They don't... Pick a preset build. What the fuck does that mean? How about you explain what that means? I like this one the most. I like that, it's very Bruce Lee. Now the stance. Okay, now it's gonna change again. Okay, so, Jujutsu. <laughs> Let's see which one we like the best. Karate, that is right out of Deadly Alliance. That's the Sub-Zero stance. Now we got a lot to work with here. I do like the kickboxing look. I can't remember who has that. Maybe Kira, somebody has that sort of look, but Dan Dan's while we do this, that's Reptile from Deadly Alliance. While we do this, I would like to ask you guys, did you mess with this at all? Did you mess with Creative Fighter back when Mortal Kombat Armageddon was the new hotness? Because people have been asking for Creative Fighter to come back. Man, this is the same shit we saw earlier. In Kar Karate and Shorin Ryu are the same thing. Man, they're doubling up. Anyway. <laughs> Man, her ankle looks broken. Did you use this mode? People are asking for this to come back, but I do kind of wonder how popular this really was. You know? And obviously times have changed. And doing something like Creative Fighter is, you know, I can imagine it's extremely difficult because the Mortal Kombat animations are so specifically tied to character models that are of a certain size. You know, we are able to change the gear on our fighters in the current games, and we're able to do this and that. I think we're just gonna stick with the one we started with <laughs> after all that looking. Oh man, we get to choose all the moves too? Why don't we do the appearance before we do all of that, okay? Where's the fucking, here we go. You gotta use R1 and L1. Uh, you can change the gear and whatnot on our current fighters, but 
you know, if, if we were able to mess with the size, I feel like things would be off. How do you like that? Some green eyes and some red lips. That's not too bad. Hairstyles here. Oh man, well, I gotta buy all this shit? Motherfuckers talk about microtransactions nowadays. They used to be here too, but it was just in-game currency. She got hair like a Lego person. How do I free camera? No. Get out of here. I just don't want to be... Okay, whatever. Shit! Hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. We got the cornrows, we got double bun. Look at the complete lack of texture on the hair. That's very funny. Dreads, we got flat top. That's what, I think that's what the standard male character had. We got the geisha look. Why do you keep getting so close to the camera lady? I can't even fucking see anymore. How does she keep winding up so close? I can't fucking see anything! Free camera. See, this is where this is where I would like the camera to be. So I can get a fucking so I can get a good look at it. Look how goddamn good anyway. Mohawk not too bad, kinda reminds me of Jack from Tekken. Ooh, the pigtail braids, it's a little bit of some katana action there. Pigtail large, maybe some Harley Quinn deals going on, but what I was gonna get at earlier before I so rudely interrupted myself was, you know, people have been asking for Creative Fighter to come back. And game developers have the telemetry of what happens and what is used in all of their games. You know, I just did the history of UFC video games part five, where I took a look at the EA Sports developed UFC games. And, uh, oh, that's funny. I'm sure that's a very specific character and I just don't know who it is. I took a look at the EA Sports developed UFC games and I mentioned how there was ultimate team mode in those games where you would unlock new cards and uh, you could upgrade your team and do all this shit. And eventually, by, I believe by the time UFC 4 came out, Ulta, I, I kind of like Geisha Long. I think Geisha Long is a good look. 500 coins down a fucking drain. By the time UFC 4 came out, uh, EA Sports had removed Ultimate Team Mode from uh, from the UFC games. And when asked why, they were like, well, the, the player base are not interested. They don't use it. We can see what people play and what they don't. They don't play Ultimate Team Mode. Ooh, now do we want to go with a bandana on this bad bitch? I don't know, man. I think she's looking pretty good. I think she's looking pretty... A beanie? That's what you call a beanie? That looks like something a fucking fireman from Germany would wear. What the fuck? Beret. Can you stop going behind the menu there, sweetheart? I'm, try I'm trying to get a look at what's going on here. What if we just create an extremely sexy cowgirl? Yeah. Whoa! How do you like this? Bonerific Cyrax. How you doing? <laughs> Cyrax got that wagon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, see, here, I asked you guys, did you use this mode back when I uh, originally owned Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the PlayStation 2? I did. And I basically just created a guy that used all of the Elder Gods armor. And I called him Drago. I kind of like the way that looks. I'm going to be honest with you. Kind of like that. Keep Put a pin in fedora. You know, men can't wear fedoras anymore. There's a, there's a connotation that goes with it that just screams, you know, neck beard. It's, it's not a good thing anymore. I don't, but, but I think she can pull it off. She's looking pretty good to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I created that guy named, named uh, Drago. And uh, he was pretty cool, but that's the thing. I never made anybody else. You know, I used Creative Fighter one time. And after that, the novelty had kind of worn off. I, ooh, you know, I kind of like the... You know who I... I guess I'm just creating Zatanna here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, man. It's, I'm either creating Zatanna or the beautiful Tara Darcy, now that I look at it. Dark brown hair and green eyes. How you doing? Um, ooh, a little bit of Lady Thor action going on here. I think, you know, you get over the novelty of it, and then it's like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if, if this is as cool as it seems. Now, obviously, 
Can I change the color of this? I'm gonna spend 500 bucks to find out if I can ch I can change the color. Oh man, I kinda like. What if we turn this chick, there's no like private eyes in Mortal Kombat, right? What if she's a sexy, badass fucking like, like investigator, you know what I'm saying? So she watches from afar, face. Oh, we can change the expression as well. What happened to her green eyes? You take it away. She can't be mad with green eyes? Trust me, good looking women with green eyes can get mad. Ask me how I know. <laughs> this is sick. See, this is the thing. I glossed right over face because I just thought this menu was called face. Man, I don't think I've even seen half of this shit before. Ooh, I kind of like the white eyes, let me tell you. Kind of like the white eyes. Oh, I like the red eyes, too. Man, this is fun. Fuck what I was saying. You can do Harley Quinn. Blonde fucking pigtails with that and the fucking red lips. I do. Ooh, I kind of like that, too. Man, you can make some good-looking women in this game. How about it? Ooh, F Rico's sister. Somebody got out my case recently because I called him Rico instead of Rayco. Here's the thing. Anybody who's been around a while knows that he used to be called Rico. Go back and play Mortal Kombat 4 and select him and tell me that motherfucker doesn't say Rico. He does. They can change it to Rayco now, just like they've changed how they talk about Shao Kahn and the Emperor and all that stuff. Put a pin in Geisha, because I kind of like it. But for now, we're just going to keep her the way she is. Torso. Armor Bustier, how about that? Goodness gracious, what a what a video game, guys. What a what a video game. Asymm Ooh, in case you want some sexy Andrea the Giant stuff going on, keep uh, keep your eyes peeled for GM Showdown every Wednesday. Why did I bring that up? Maybe you'll find out. Look at that. That's a deep V if I've ever seen one. I kind of like the breastplate. I kind of like. You know, I like the breastplate because it's it's cool. It's like, it is functional armor for the skin that it does cover. But I'm a red-blooded, heterosexual man. And I think I want something with some fucking cleavage. That's what I'm looking for, you know? If that's not what you're looking for, that's fine. But I think I'm into it. <laughs> now we gotta, what, how, how is this physically staying on her body? That's what I'd like to know. Elder Gods. It's so funny. I, I, I want to say, and I believe this to be true, the male version of the Elder Gods armor uh, covers the midriff. <laughs> the female version does not, but the male version most certainly does. I like the jacket. Now, we could play this with the hat for our sexy investigator. That is a possibility. It's funny that the kimono has the exact color scheme that I put on her hat. Lace bustier, how about it? How do you like that? I like the leather jacket with nothing underneath, man. Listen, if I looked like this like this woman, I wouldn't I I would probably wear a jacket like that too. You know? This is this is very Ada Wong. This is giving me some Ada Wong deals right there. That's what that's what I'm getting out of that. Ooh, I like this. See, now, you guys gotta let me know in the comments if this is interesting, if this is not interesting. It's very tempting to just make a sexy female ninja. It is. It is, I gotta tell ya. The hat wouldn't fit with it, but... You guys gotta let me know if this is interesting or if this is boring. It will be too late by the time you answer. <laughs> but I am interested in your response nonetheless. Either way, I guess this is, uh, you know, you could you could pass this around and just tell people to hit the mute button and say, hey, this way you can see all of the pieces that are in creative fighter mode from 2006. <laughs> in case anybody's curious about that. I don't know why they would be, but maybe they are. Let's put a pin in uh, Boussier. I kind of like that. I do, I kind of like that. We're gonna keep looking though. This is what so many female wrestlers gear looks like now, specifically with like the pentagram uh, strapping at the top. That is a very popular look. I also kind of like Dainty. Dainty's pretty good looking. 
But what if she just beat people's asses in a hoodie with the with the midriff exposed? I kind of like hoodie as well. You're saying, hey, we've seen this already. You're you're doubling up. I'm aware. I'm. A, what do you want me to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. Huh? What, I'm supposed to make up my mind the first time I see it? Get the fuck out of here! That's what I say. Now, some of these outfits are just ridiculous. That's clear as day. Who's texting me? It's the one and only Stevie Fierce. How you doing? Shout out to Stevie Fierce. Okay, dude, fucking... Where is it? Wife Peter just looks filthy. That just looks dirty. I don't, I don't mean like good dirty. I mean it looks like she needs to do laundry. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna go with that. What was the other one that I liked? Someone's supposed to remind me, right? Dainty. I think I liked Dainty. And we're gonna change the colors. Do we like purple with black or do we like black with purple? Something is telling me we're gonna lose the hat. I think the hat's gonna have to go. No one's gonna miss it. You're already telling me to lose the hat. But just know that I know. What is cloth? Oh, a weenie flap! When my brother and I were kids, when we would talk about, like, Sub-Zero and Scorpion, we would call that the weenie flap. But she got a big fat ass, and I don't want to cover it up. You know, I don't mean to be, to be crude. I don't mean to be crass. But when you got a big beautiful butt, you know, you gotta celebrate that shit, you know? <laughs> This is why I'm not- Oh man, what if she was a badass boxer, dude? Ooh. This is fun. Oh, I like the fingerless. I kind of like that. We need to get away from her looking like Zatanna. So the hat's definitely going to have to go. It's going to have to go. That's all. That's, it's not all I know, but it's one of the things I know. This, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I got a question. Tarkat medium. So if I went with that, would I be... I don't think I'd be able to bring the... I don't think I'd be able to bring... The blades all the way out, though, right? I kind of like the wrist wraps, too. The wrap is cool. Oh, man, I didn't realize her fucking fingers got all fucked up if you do that one. Jeez, a loo. You know what? I kind of like the wraps. I think it's badass. We could put her in karate gloves, but if she just fucking like wraps her 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 wrist and is like fuck it, let's go to war. That's sick. So she's badass. She doesn't even wear gloves. What kind of pants are we looking at? Again, man, with a with a with a butt that nice, I kind of don't want to see. That's ridiculous. But I don't want to lose all the butt. You know what I'm saying? But I think we need something that kind of plays off of the top now she's kind of starting to look like we fit trainer <laughs> we could kind of make like alita right with the jeans we go like some green cargo pants we also have the opportunity to make khaki shorts as badass as possible those aren't playing as leather to me i don't know about you guys but those don't really look leather Leather tight, leopard, that's ridiculous. I don't like these because the texture's bad. You're, you're hearing my, my internal thoughts, my internal monologue. You, if you look at her, her quad, see right where her fingertips are, where her fingers stretch down to and look at the leg, you can see the seam in the leg of the torso piece where it actually meets the rest of the leg, that's funny. I doubt you would be able to see that if you were if I was like playing on a CRT, you know, but like playing on a on a on a newer TV through component cables, you can certainly see it. Now, what did we like? I do kind of like these a little bit. We would have to change the color. But this kind of goes with the black and purple. Hmm. It's funny, like, I guess I should be trying to do something really kind of crazy looking, right? Like, this is fucking Mortal Kombat, and it almost looks like I'm putting together, like, a creator wrestler. You know, like, this isn't something you would see in Mortal Kombat. This could be in any fucking game. I guess. Oh my goodness. Can we get her, like, a championship belt? The Elder Gods thing is the closest so far. 
You wouldn't wear shorts with, or you wouldn't wear a belt with like khaki shorts though, right? But maybe she does, you know? This is horrible. This is why I'm not a character designer. Look how fucking bad this is. <laughs> Ooh, man, I kind of think I like some thigh highs with those shorts. You guys are like, you're the only one. <laughs> What are we thinking, mate? Oh, I don't know. That's kind of giving some Santa, Santa vibes. But I don't know. Maybe a sexy Mrs. Claus. Is that is that something? Ooh, I kind of like these too. Do we like those? Maybe we like those. Put a pin and jump. Everybody, put a pin and jump. But part of me doesn't want to lose the thigh high look. <laughs> This, is so, this was such a mistake. <laughs> I shouldn't be revealing my inner monologue. <laughs> Get these tallest fucking shoes out of here. I don't know, man. Vinyl long is kind of nice. I kind of like the idea of a sexy woman beating my ass and thigh highs. Why's it got to be my ass? Why she gotta beat my ass? I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> let's, let's go with these. And we'll play with the color. Do we go, how does purple look? Or is that too uniform? Like, does it just look stupid now? Free camera. Now the, the hand wraps look horrifically out of place, don't they? And the hat probably does too. But let's just keep going and see what happens. Oh, we can get, we can, there's more customization. Oh, if, you know, if you're fucking weird, if you're weird enough to just wear a bandit mask, you have, you don't have to explain as much, you know? I feel like the, oh man. Put a pin in eye patch. I like that. How funny does the fucking ninja mask look with the hat? That is hilarious. I do like a woman in glasses. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. Look at those fucking ears, man! Goodness gracious, she looks like a fucking, or like a monkey. Hmm, 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 hmm. We're playing with the options here. I would also like to ask you guys, if you don't mind, we gotta go with the iPad, are you kidding me? <laughs> what, what, what happens, with, oh. I want, I also wanna ask you guys, while we are at it, if you did mess with this mode, uh, try and explain what your created fighter looked like. You know? I want to know. I want to know what you put together. Is it as ridiculous as what I'm doing here? Why is this so interesting to me? I kind of like this big stupid fucking scarf. Now obviously we would, we would change the color of it to match the rest of what she's got going on. Look how ridiculous that is. What do you what else can you do to arms? Bracelets over wrist wraps? I feel like now we're just getting out of line. This is some Ahmed Johnson shit. What the fuck? What do those straps do? Double armband for what? <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh, I'm losing it. Ming? Ming the Merciless? Ming Hags? Which one? Shoulder. We got samurai shoulder pieces with nut. They're not connected to anything. I do, that's so silly, I kind of like it. See, now this, the single band, we could use that as trim for the shirt. You know? Because I don't believe, oh, this shirt does have trim. It's just really small. Okay, well, fuck me then. Studded wristbands. Hmm. There's a lot to play with here. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot to look at. I think maybe the arms are a bit too much. But what what can we add to the legs? There's not a lot of leg pieces. Ooh, what if she had some fucking knives, man? How do you like that? What if she had fucking knives? Now can I change the co Yes, I can, dude. This see this is fucking awesome. I wish the current Mortal Kombat games had this type of uh customization dude if we could edit the individual colors of like individual individual pieces please man come on now i don't think i'm you know i'm not smart enough breast size you can they can go bigger than that 
Holy shit! This is ridiculous. We're not trying to get too ridiculous here. Jaw with? What is... Oh, you can go straight Jay Leno on this motherfucker. Look at that. Jay Leno or... Who's this? Who would that be? Remember on Seinfeld when that one guy uh, told George Costanza, tough luck, chinless? That's who that would be. I... What do you... Oh, man, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy shit. You know, I do kind of like... I do like big eyes. Cheek with. Oh, look at that. That looks like that motherfucker from uh, American Chinatown. Robert. Robert Zadar. What was that guy's name? You guys know what I'm talking about? Probably not. Cheekbones. What's this? The upper cheek? I can't even see what I'm doing. Probably because the haircut I gave her. Lip size. That's Steven Tyler. Holy shit. You know what? Is that Steven Tyler or is that just how people are fucking with their faces nowadays? Mouth width. I don't even see much of a difference here. Oh, I see. I feel like from the halfway point, look at that, to here, I don't think the rest, the, the entire second half of the scale does anything. I don't think it moved at all. Nose width. Nose length. Oh, I see. Do you want to do Wicked Witch, or do you want to do some some Twisted Metal character? <laughs> let's go there. Nose, uh, yeah, let's not fuck with this. I'm not a good enough designer to fuck with that stuff. And by good enough designer, I mean good at, uh, at all. We gotta lose the hat, I think. The hat's gotta go. I don't think there's... Man, do we go with a beret? Does a does a does a purple beret work with that? Or do we just lose it entirely? Oh, the bandana's kind of sexy too. Now she kind of looks like a pirate a little bit. Should we go through and completely redesign her as like a sexy pirate? That's an idea. That is certainly an idea. And then we would ditch the purple for a more reddish burgundy, right? Or is that too much like scarlet? You know, you don't want to go, uh, you want to go too, you don't want to go too far into already existing character territory. Otherwise, what was the point, right? What are we looking at here? Maybe we change the khaki shorts as well. And the scarf would have to go like that. I don't know, does this look too much like Scarlet? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Hmm. Could you imagine if we forgot to change the color of this? And it would have mismatched from everything else? I don't know, how do we feel about her, man? She kinda cool? Oh, she's kinda like uh, Scarlet and she's kinda like Kira. Okay, red and black is not gonna work. Red and black is not gonna work. Kira doesn't wear shorts, so we can keep those. <sighs> Who, what colors are not taken? Katana's blue and black. Scarlet and Kira are red and black. There is no... Lee Mei is kind of purple pink. Is there a black and green woman? I mean, Jade, but she's got like ninja gear. Maybe we can get away with that. Or do we go... Is there an orange colored female fighter? I don't think that there is. Is there? What color am I changing? Oh, it's on her, her shirt. I think orange might be a free color. Man, some of these oranges don't look so good. Dan Dan's Tootsie Pops or Blow Pops? That's what I need to know. There is a right and wrong answer. So, just know that ahead of time. I'm gonna give you time to type out your answer before I tell you if you're right or wrong. The answer is Blow Pops. Get that Tootsie Pop dog shit out of my fay. Get out of my way. That's what I'm saying. The gloves, I think the gloves gotta change too. Right? What if she just had minging ass beast arms, but the rest of her was totally normal? That would be kind of funny. Here's a question. Cryomancer, we, we'll buy these, cause fuck it. Can you change the color 
I mean, it gives you the option to, but it doesn't look like it works. That would have been cool if we could have those arms, but instead of blue, we could make them, like, orange, right? Almost like energy was coming off of them. That would be kind of cool. The question that I'm... The thing I'm struggling with now, it's not a question, it's just a... The, the idea at large. Why would this woman wear a scarf like that in a fight where it's it's just going to be used to choke her to death? Logically, we should not give her this scarf. But for the sake of how cool it looks, I think I just might do it anyway, right? You know? Why the fuck is there a buckle on these gloves? Why would there be a buckle on a fucking, on a pair of gloves like that. After all the shit that I talked about the karate gloves, I'm kind of, fuck it, leather gloves, boom. Unused, yes, yeah, so obviously nothing's gonna happen there. <sighs> Do we change the sh <laughs> it's, it's time to just fucking relook at everything, I guess. Oh, we're back to butt out. Honestly, you guys are gonna make fun of me but I think it would be a sound strategy to uh, to go into like a Mortal Kombat fight dressed like this. Because everyone's going to be either looking at your ass or they're going to be thinking about it at the very least. And that gives you an opening. That gives you a distraction. I think that's a perfectly usable strategy in my book. What are we coming from? We're coming from khaki shorts. Do we switch to these? What's the difference? The khakis, they have like the rolled up deal at the bottom. The daisies do not. But with the daisies, maybe we can go black and then make the button orange, right? Is that a thing we can do? Unused. No, but it's close enough, I guess, right? Eye patch, scarf. I don't know, man. I think I kind of like her now. She would be kind of gaudy, though, right? Would she have? Some, she would have some fucking weird shit, right? <laughs> How many of you do this? Do you go through and you like you do an entire run and you're like, oh, there we go, that's it, and then you just do it again? Because I gotta say, every time I'm creating a character, I think I do this. I do at least two runs. I'm gonna buy these just to see if I can change the color on them. Nope, I can't. But I feel like she would wear the- fuck it, that's, that's part of her backstory. There's these goddamn things in her wrists, right? We can just decide that, right? And that's what she looks like. Boom. Dude, she's kinda fucking cool, man. Fighting style, we did this, right? That's her stance. She's preset as aggressive, not that it matters. Fighting style. Style name. Well, okay, hold on. Before we do that. Special moves. Yo, okay, so we can get in and fuck with all this. All right, I'm making an executive decision right now. This is going to be today's episode is creating her. Next week, we're going to fight with her. All right? So if that's a deal breaker for you and you want to turn this off now, go ahead. But we're already like a half hour in. How do we listen to these? I think I like large one. Now what's going on here? This is her victory move. She would probably do some cool shit, right? Now which one do we like the best? She's not Lin Kuei, that's for certain. Cameraman, it would be nice if we could see her, right? Otherwise, how the fuck do we know what we're deciding? Jeet Kune Do kind of works with the stance that she has. The you female. You, how do you like that? This is just what all women do when they win. Get the fuck out of here. Come on now. We're going to find one that works for her. Badass. That's funny. That's Sub-Zero from Deadly Alliance. We're going to find one that looks like it fits her personality. That's what the fuck we're going to do. And I'm not going to settle until we find it. But there's not too many options to choose from. So I think we'll just go with that one. That's fucking Liu Kang. <laughs> so you can just pick them out eventually. You can just tell. Extras. We just did that. Biography. 
What is her name? Her name... How do I... There we go. Her name is gonna be... Uh, her name is gonna be... Vita. Boom! And her slogan is... How do you like this? Vita... Me... Shit. Means... Life. How do you like that? A little shout out to, uh... Sandeep Rai, who wrote Vita Means Life and It Only Did Everything, the hardcover books that encompass the entire history of Vita and the PlayStation 3. I wrote for the PlayStation 3 book. How do you like that? Biography. Oh, man. Now, how much do we want to actually type here? For biography, we're d you guys can decide what her backstory is in your head, right? Or we could say she is here to kick your butt. <laughs> butt is so funny. <laughs> That's it. That's all. You know, who is she? Oh, her name's Vita. What, what, what about her, though? Well, she's here to kick your butt. <laughs> That's it. That gets it across. How do I get out of this menu? Done! How do I get out of here? Accept. Yeah, there we go. So, special moves with down forward square. Ooh, she is orange. So, I feel like... Damn, these are fucking awesome. I feel like we want some, uh, some orange-looking moves. Dragon Fireball is cool, but I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. Surging Blast is a good fit, but I don't- I also don't want her to just be pigeonholed into fire. Oh, Jesus! I don't want to see her legs break like that. I don't want her to just be pigeonholed into fire, you know what I mean? Because that's not- that's not what I'm thinking off the orange. Chi Blast is a little better, because it's not just called Fire. Twisting Fire has too much setup. I feel like that would be a pain in the ass. So I think I, think I like Chi Blast. And you, you can get in the comments and say, like, well, it's basically Fire. Fuck you! Alright. Down, forward, square. I also... Can I just do down... Why can I only use these buttons? Why can't I just do down and forward for everything? Back forward triangle, we can do some more. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not every move in this era was good, you know? <laughs> Not all of them were good. Uplifting. I kind of like the knee. We gotta wonder what's going on with the wristbands, you know? There's, so they're like, there's a lot that she can do. Maybe those are just magical in general. She can call upon all of the elements in a way. That's exactly what it is. She can call upon the elements. She's got fucking chi. She's got ice. What else you got? Bike kicks. Not bicycle kick. Bike kicks. That's hilarious. Belly bash. That's like a, that's a titty bash right there. Sign me up. Gra Ooh, I do like Grasshopper. Now that we have a Chi Blast and Ice, I would also I would like to have a third, a third element. You know, like is there anything? Are these all strikes, or can we get some like electricity going? Twisty Kick is cool. Oh, you know what? I like that. Target practice. Put a pin in target practice. We're gonna go with target practice. Boom. Now I'm spending a lot of money in here, you son of a bitch. What kind of grapple? Got a knee to the face and a leapfrog. That's a face buster. Ooh, I do like the knee to the back. 
Why could they not give us a dummy to, like, practice on, you know? What are the green and red guys from, uh, from the WWE games doing right now? They could be here. Tell me they don't need work? Everybody's got, you, you gotta have a job. You need work. You gotta make money. You know, because it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell what some of these are. There was one that I liked. Yeah, knee to the back. The rollback. That's what we're gonna go with. Fighting style. Her style name is... Ass. Kick. She's here to kick your butt. And how's she gonna do it? She's gonna do it with her trademark style ass kick. That's what she's gonna do. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I don't want to do all this. So, this is just what it is. <laughs> I don't want to do all this. You don't want to watch me do all that. So we'll learn all that on the fly, okay? Dan Dan's, this is her. This is Vita. Today, we put Vita together, and I think she's looking pretty fucking cool. You know what? Yeah. That's it. I like it. I was gonna say I'll change her name because I named like a lot of my female characters Vita. I don't know what about her is screaming Vita to me. But I like it because Mortal Kombat, the, you know, there's a lot of death, there's a lot of fatality. But Vita means life. So fuck it. I'm into it. Dan Dan's, this is Vita. Next week, she's gonna enter the fucking uh, combat zone and she's gonna beat some ass. Wait. Oh, this has creative fatality, so we can't even choose him. She's pondering how she's going to kick your butt next week. Dan Dan's, I love you. And I'll see you next week. Oh my good what a fucking great game man